Hey guys, um, I'm going to talk to you today. I'm going to kind of break down a little bit about this storm, and because that's kind of the theme I've been on. I don't know if the theme's the right word, but anyhow, I'm, some stuff that the Lord gave me this morning, which I kind of already knew, but I'm going to go over a little bit of it with you. It's in Revelations. I'm just going to kind of dive in, and then I'm going to kind of explain to you. But it was uh, the storm that's coming to America. I don't know why I got a specific date, guys. I'm not trying to be like. It, it, but it was. But anyhow, the, in this, in this, in the, the fire in the storm, this firestorm, the center was white, and it was brilliant light, and it was pure. The blood red was the flames, and the top flames were like yellow, but not like a, not like a gold colored yellow, more like a, not even a dirty yellow, but just a, a yellow. So I didn't quite understand. I kind of did, but this made more sense. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning, the first and the last. Then I, this is in Revelation 1, then I turned to see the voice that spoke with me. And having turned, I saw seven golden lampstands. And in the midst of seven lampstands, one of the lamp, <clears throat> one, the Son of Man, clothed with white garment down to the feet, and girded about with the chest with a gold band. His head and hair were were like were white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were like a flame of fire. His feet were like a fine brass, as if refined in the furnace. And his voice as the and his voice as the sound of many waters. He had in his right hand seven stars. Out of his mouth went a two-edged sword. And his countenance was like the sun shining in strength. Okay, I'm going to break this down, guys. And this isn't, I don't understand all the revelation, guys, either. I'm still kind of, you know, I don't like you guys. I'm just diving into it as it, as it comes up. But I'm not saying that this is going to be the, the coming back of Jesus on this date. I'm not even going to go there. What I'm saying is what I'm seeing the Lord's dealing with me, and I'm hearing in the Spirit. And I want all your comments. Please comment. Tell me. Email me. Um, I'll give you that at the end. But is, it's a separation, guys. It's a choosing time. It's a purging, a cleansing, a purification. Because he wants us to be that light to this world. And yes, there is still a chance for America and a time and a space It's not to make America great again. Because then we get the glory. He's going to get the glory, guys. But not when, we're, not, when we're, not, when we're, not when we haven't purged ourselves. And, I, and, and I'm included, guys. Okay, I'm just directional. And, you know, yes, I get it. I say some stuff sometimes. And it, I've got to. Because that's who he called me to be. And I'm telling you to... Be who you're called to be through the body of Christ. But I don't get a free pass on this, guys. This is not the game of Monopoly where I get the pass go and collect 200 bucks and you're stuck on railroad, some property you didn't even want to buy instead of buying park place with hotels or whatever. You get the gist of it. Most of y'all have played Monopoly. I got to do the same thing, guys. I got to go through the Matthew 20 scriptures, a great one. The quality piece, the marriage supper of the Lamb, Matthew 22, that's a great one. There's a bunch of, but you know, all the scriptures are great, but so it's just a cleansing time, guys, a separation. The purity was what he wants his country to be again white as wool, that white garment. That robe is righteousness, covered under the blood of the Lamb. The blood, the blood red, was his obedience and his sacrifice. And there wasn't but one sacrifice for our sins, guys, and his name was Jesus. Okay, so that's a whole other message about the sacrifice. But that was for us, for all of mankind. And then the flames, his eyes were as a flame. 
but his feet were as brass. So he's standing in the flames with the skies, in the fire with the skies, in that refiner's fire, guys. But his eyes are those flames and they're seeing. It's a purging guys coming and he wants us to get rid of these idols. Many of them, guys. Almost like we got more than, than the country Indian, you know, they got bunches of them. Weird stuff. We do too. Any of them. Biggest one being the God of Self. Don't believe me? Self-indulgent, self, self, self. Everything's selfies. Everything's self. You know, go to a restaurant. If you don't get waited on in 30 seconds or 60 seconds, you want to talk to a manager. I mean, I can, the list can go on and on. You walk that, through a parking lot, walk to your Kroger's or whatever, and everybody's got a cell phone, computer, tablets. Doctor's office I went to the other day, and there was a lady with three kids, every little kids, and tablets. They were two or three, three years old. I barely could seem to walk. Everybody had a tablet, and she had a cell phone. They're all, you know? So we're kind of on the information overload, guys. But... He wants our time. Time is holy to him. He wants our time, guys. I got some things too that I'm pur that I'm purging right now. One of them's pretty major. A couple of them, some of them I didn't even create. Some of them I did. That hurt. That I'm working on, and I'm like, man, God, you're showing me all this stuff, but why not this? But he is. It's just coming out. So it's like, okay, God. Bringing it constantly with them to, to prayer. Getting to, trying to get direction. Um, Because that's what this is. This is a preparation, guys. A preparation for the storm that's coming so I can be prepared too. <coughs> because there is a purging coming. And it's going to separate us from the sin we're in. And a lot of it's the idol worship, guys, that we've created in this in this nation, in this world, but in this nation especially. So part of that's probably the information. That's 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 an idol, all this stuff. Guys, but he's separating us. He wants to purge us and purify us and his voice. So I'm gonna you know, I'm numbering them now, so it's a little bit easier to go back to or whatever. I'm trying to do that. I've got, seem like I'm a little crushed with all this stuff because I don't have any technological skills. It's probably in the 90s. I don't even text people. And I had to do a website, Instagram, Facebook, which, you know, to many of y'all, that's nothing. To me, it's like, what takes you guys five minutes takes me hours sometimes. And then he wants me to start a web business because I'm trying to build up a support so that I can get into the ministry full time and just have the full devotion to him. A lot of prayers, guys. <clears throat> you want to support us? Fine, that's great. But I'm not. That's not what this message is about. <clears throat> prayers. <clears throat> I could use some computer help though badly and I paid this guy a friend of mine 25 bucks an hour so email me you know and if you're local here in Dallas I, I do need some help I mean I'm gonna pay as I play type thing too you know so I'm not opposed to that I just I'm kind of on a limited budget too and a shoestring budget actually but I'll do what I can do but that's a whole nother point but I'm the separation and I feel like and then the ministry stuff and the business stuff and the you know, I don't know how to do all this stuff, the fundraising and stuff, that kind of stuff kind of foreign to me, guys. I don't really even want to do it. So I don't, you know, like, okay, God, but, but I still, I want to do it pure and clean and holy and acceptable in the sight. So, and it's time to get rid of these idols. So I'm going to end with this, guys. Um, two things. Yeah, I was was gonna share this one, but I don't think I'm going to. Um, yeah, I need to. 
um, the information overload. That's one of the idols too, but it's just all this stuff that's vying for our attention, guys. That he wants to purge from us the distractive life all around us. The internet, the Google searches, the computers, the phones, the just, just stuff. And this vision. I'll make it brief. And then the end is going to be maybe even a little political, but try not to be. But <clears throat> just because of the time that it's in, timing element that we're in. And in this vision, I saw this snake. And I had this about a month ago. The Lord took, told me to go to Isaiah 27 and 1. So that twisted serpent, he's going to lift up a sword and cut its ugly head off. The Spirit of the Lord will. It's twisted, guys. Information has twisted us up. Literally. Miscommunicated. Um, we bicker amongst each other, family members, wives, husbands, in the church. David Wilkerson has now passed away, of course. Um, but for some reason, it's not for some reason, but I just started watching him out. I don't watch them all the time, but I watched some of his messages, and one of them was on how the outpouring is not outpouring of the Holy Ghost, like in Joel, and the outpouring of the Spirit is not going to come upon the church when we're mad at each other. Whether you're mad at the pastor or the leaders or not the leaders or somebody next to you or, you know, it's, I get it. Sometimes it gets into, you know, different things and stuff office politics or whatever or different things if you're working for the church or not but or whatever but or just various different opinions um but we gotta set that aside guys that's part of the purging process it's real easy to you know love somebody that you can just walk away from my wife and i ministered on a homeless shelter and you know we, we're the, i see some of those people that work down there man they're in there a, a, you know, the pastor that's all over, it's like, man, they're right there in the trenches. Me and my wife, we minister and pray for people and love them and get them walk away. But when you can't walk away from the people that you love and the people that are in the church and the, that are right next to you, or your family members, or your wife, or your spouse, or your husband, or your kids, so maybe that's part of the purging. But anyhow, let's kind of leave it at that. Um, just the, a purging time because there is a fire of separation because Jesus is coming, but he's standing in the fire with the skies. He created the fire. He is the fire. He wants to purge us and make us clean. White as snow, wash us under the blood of the lamb. You just have to let him. It's going to be a decision time. Um, but... I'm going to end with this because it just needs to be said. All this, I still pray for America and I, I still pray and hope that there's still a chance and an opportunity and voted for whoever doesn't matter, but it doesn't. We should have that right to disagree or whatever, but it's gotten visceral, viral, out of control badly. Three years Maybe I am one-sided on this, okay? So I'll try not to be, but we're going to get to the bottom of everything. I feel sorry for that guy Mueller. Seemed like a decent man, whether you agree with him or not. There's been a lot of casualties in this, guys. But now... Started on October 30th. And now they want to end it by December. There's a reason for it, guys. There is a reason for it. They may not see it, but we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities, spiritual wickedness in high places. But it's, it is a demonic force that's trying to destroy this country, its people, so in the world. I'm not naming names, and I'm not saying everybody's demon possessed or any of that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying they're being influenced. There is a difference. So.
It's very important who we listen to. He that had an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit has to say to the church. And we're listening to a lot of idols, and politics is one of the idols. But it's kind of like, man, why, you know, part of, the, I mean, they do, there is an agenda behind it. I get it. I understand that. And it's not very good, most of it. The, um, kind of a little ironic that it started on Halloween, huh? That's another idol. Can be these holidays. All right, that's kind of a sacred cow. Read, look at the video I got on about that. The sacred about that being a sacred cow, and then they want to end it soon. Why? They may not even have this in the plan. They may not even discuss it. But you know, they want. Honestly, they just want to put Hillary back on the ticket. They want to give her a chance to have a time and a space to to build a campaign. And they're going to get, you know, Trump out of the way as fast as they can. What happened to the, hey, we'll get to the bottom of it however long it takes. But now it's like, it kind of feels like a railroad to me, guys. I don't know where the truth lies in all this. And, I, you know, it's pretty messy a little bit. But... Some of it's just decisions that people make, too. You know? Got to be some forgiveness in there, too, guys. Both sides. But, you know, so that's just part of the idleness and that's part of the twisted upness. That's part of the Isaiah 27, 1, of that twisted serpent that's coming. So... Against the body, against the church, against America, against the world. Twisted, turned, polluted, diluted. Nobody knows where the truth is. So everybody gets mad. There's so many instances and circumstances I can give you on that. But when we get separated from that, we purge ourselves of that. That's when the outpouring can come. So anyhow, we love you guys. Um, he's right there in the fire with us, guys, because he is the fire. His eyes are as a flame of fire. His feet are that brass standing in the fire. He's the blood of the lamb. Those red hot flames. The white purity is where he wants us to be because he wants his body to be pure and holy and acceptable and clean without spot, blemish, or wrinkle. It'll help us if we make that choice. Love you guys.